Welcome to PC Wiz Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the new AMD 890GX chipset that just came out, as well as the motherboard from Asus M4A 89GTS Pro USB 3.0 motherboard. Now, the new architecture, now the 890GX chipset, as opposed to the uh, 790 or the 785 chipsets, has now an integrated GPU that is the 4290. It comes clocked at 700 megahertz, as opposed to previous 500 um, megahertz models. It does support crossfire with the new 5450 um, HD video card. And um, it does have also on the South Bridge, the 850 South Bridge chipset support for the new SATA 3.0. So that's uh, 6 GP um, per second, basically, as opposed to 3. And you can have this in different configurations. It'll even support the new 6 core GPUs coming out later this year. And uh, what I've done is I've taken different configurations to try to test it out. But the 890GX chipset and this 4290 video card only supports um, the uh, DirectX 10.1, by the way, not DirectX 11. Now, here's the Asus motherboard that you're uh, going to be looking at more in detail here. Obviously, it supports all the latest and greatest. It has the 890GX chipset on it, and uh, it supports latest Phenon 2s, Athlon 2s, triple, quad, dual, it doesn't matter, and it also has a core on locker. So if you had the Phenom 2 555, for example, that I reviewed previously, for, ex for example, you might be able to um, unlock the cores. Not guaranteed, but it's a feature that's there. As well as GPU boost, so you can overclock the integrated uh, HD um, 4290 that I mentioned and increase it from 700, and that's what I did. As well as using the software from Asus, the Turbo V Evo, so you can do some overclocking. So you can do that as well if you wanted. And it also has on the motherboard some additional features for unlocking and um, increasing the potential. And I've tried that out as well to see how well it did. Okay, so we're going to look at that more in detail. Here's the board, right? Very nice layout from Asus as usual. Nice blue highlights there as you can see. The layout, there's the nice looking heat sink in the center and on the top. Okay, high quality capacitors of course. Good heat sink and pipe going from one to the other on the north bridge as you can see. And here are the PCI Express slots. You've got two of them, of course. And then you've got some regular PCI slots. And you also have a 4X PCI Express and a 1X PCI Express, okay? So that's what comes with this specific board, this new 890GX supported uh, AMD board. Here at the bottom, you've got the uh, Southbridge 850 uh, chipset under that heatsink. And of course, you've got your DDR3 dual channel uh, slots, as you can see right here, okay? Now, I'm going to be uh, doing some testing with the Corsair XMS3. This is uh, rated at 1600 megahertz. And uh, it's interesting that this actually comes with MemOK, which allows you to basically have the motherboard tweak the memory for you and, and set it up as a stable value. Also, it has a turbo key. So with these little switches that you see here, you can actually switch them on and then a red LED turns on beside it so that you know that it's on. And, uh, of course, you could try to uh, let the board unlock the cores, let the board uh, try to overclock things for you and optimize things for you. And uh, that's the whole point of, uh, of this Asus board is to, to maximize the potential of your, of your CPU and memory. Here is the rest of the board, as you can see, including the, um, the rear of the board, which has pretty much standard uh, options, optical, your HDMI, your DVI and VGA out, USB ports, Firewire, as well as a combo eSATA USB and uh, two USB 3.0 slots and your Ethernet, okay? And, of course, your 8-channel uh, audio out as well, okay? So it's uh, packed and ready to go. High quality as usual, as you would expect from Asus. Now, here's my test system, and I've tested um, a 550 dual core, the 910E quad core, the 965. I've installed a whole bunch of CPUs on the same board using the same memory, and also switched around the, uh, the video cards to see what, what performance I would get. Now, in my previous review of this 910E, I overclocked it to 3.1 gigahertz on uh, the previous AMD model uh, board, which had the 785 chipset. This one here, the 890 chipset, I was able to overclock this same CPU to 3.4 gigahertz, okay? 30 degrees Celsius. So you can tell here that this Asus board specifically was indeed able to maximize the performance even better. And uh, I did not have to increase the, the uh, voltage higher than 1.27 volts. 
Now, looking at the, at the benchmarks, the scores, if we compare the 3D Mark Vantage scores that I previously got with other boards, and um, looking here, you can see that the 890 GX chipset did provide a higher score overall, including with the same memory, right? I installed the same memory on those other boards, and I did a read test, a write test, and a latency test with Everest. And uh, I recorded those values. And then I compared those exact same values that I used with a similar uh, CPU, different chipset from AMD, the 785 as opposed to the 890 GT uh, GX uh, chipset. And I got better results, about 10% better results on this board using the same memory and clocked with the same type of CPU, basically. Now, if I were to use the integrated video card, the um, 4290 by itself, I can overclock it using the Asus uh, uh, BIOS settings, and I increased it from 700 to 900 megahertz. Now, it didn't really make too much of a difference. So I then thought, okay, what if I install the um, 5450 HD video card and enable the software uh, crossfire option in it? And then I did some tests, and I didn't really get uh, good results that were satisfying out of that. So then I installed a uh, HD 5770 in there, and that's where we're talking about getting some very good results with that card, right? So I reviewed that HD 5770 recently on a 785 chipset. Now I installed it and ran the same games on this 890 GX chipset, and here are the results that I got with the frames per second uh, clocked with a similar CPU at the same uh, uh, gigahertz, okay? So this is for your information so you can see how it does on these three games. Now, inside of the package, of course, we're getting a whole bunch of different things on this Asus board. As you would expect, you get the connectors for your USB, your um, 3.0 USB cable as well, you, not just your, your SATA cables. You're getting the drivers, the manual, and some headers for your uh, plugs for the motherboard, of course. And... Um, and your IDE cable if you still have one of those. And uh, that's about it. That's the whole kit. So definitely not a bad choice if you're looking for some increase in performance and also future support for the next uh, processors coming out, the 6-core, for example. Definitely uh, recommend it. Good solid board for overclocking. Got a better result than previously uh, on that same CPU. So definitely uh, a, great, a great purchase for about $150 if you're looking for this board right now on uh, Newegg.com. So I'd like to thank AMD for providing it, and I hope you enjoy this video, and thank you for watching.